What you got right there? Well, looky here. <laughs> we have Ooh. our brand new Humminbird Mega 360 imaging for our four trucks trolling motor. American Outdoors and today we're gonna have a little vlog uh, install video of our new 360 mega imaging unit that we are putting on our four tracks right up there so uh, just follow along here this is our first time using one of these units uh, we've never used the uh, pre mega version or the version one of this so uh, we're gonna see how this goes so uh, a couple tools that we're gonna be using here. Obviously, it might be different for every situation. Um, so, starting from the back of the boat, these mega imaging units wanna be ran off of a separate power source, a fuse block directly from the battery, or a power switch. Um, something that's not gonna be uh, cluttered like on a trolling motor battery or whatever. So, anyways, starting from the back, we do have a fuse block here uh, with 10 gauge marine wire. We're gonna run from the back of the boat up into that rod locker right there which will house the fuse block um, we do have an inline fuse a 30 amp fuse for the back of the boat um, along with some ring terminals basic uh, wiring stuff that we need and some wire loom to make it look pretty so anything you'll need of that nature um, other than that it looks like there's just a for the install of this looks like you just need a screwdriver and a uh, like some sort of like a hex bolt or something so I'll uh, update it as we go, so let's get to it. All right, Tony's gonna go ahead and open the box for us here. We're gonna see what we got inside. So, right away, he's going right for the good stuff. We'll get there in a second. There's the, the good old uh, Mega 360. Got directions and installation guide. We have our four trucks bracket, because we ain't fancy. We don't have an all trucks. We just have a four trucks power cord. For you guys using Solix, this is a 14 pin adapter for your transducer. So again, we ain't fancy, we don't have a, a Solix unit, we have a Helix. So this is our cord that we're gonna be using with some more, another little bracket there. And here she is. Pretty light. Oh, yeah. I would hope so. So here she is. She looks pretty. All so. right guys, uh, before you start doing any work just disconnect your take the positive off your batteries here just so you don't electrocute yourself however you have your battery set up so we're going to run this 10 gauge marine wire from the fuse block which we'll put in the uh starboard right um the right sided rod locker and we'll have that 10 gauge marine wire come back directly to that battery so i'm going to try to run this wire through the gunnel here so all right guys after you get the wires fish through the gunnel however you're going to do it i'm not gonna uh tell you guys how to do that because everybody could do it in a different way fish tape work really well for us uh just make sure you have enough wire um we're reusing 10 gauge marine grade wire so uh after we get it back there we just take some uh like ring terminal connectors something like this just make sure it fits 10 gauge wire uh and put that on there and and an inline fuse back there, uh, something that you can reset or whatever. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the fuse block here, which this is one with a cover. Um, they say it's four boats. It's probably, it's not waterproof, whatever, but it's not gonna get wet in there, but we're gonna see how this works. Uh, so obviously it's gonna be different if you're using uh, a all trucks, but for the four trucks, we have a little mount here um, after some, uh, some discovery by our really smart uh, uh, Tony Cosgrove here. Uh, this just opens up from the back, and so you can undo that and wrap it around. Uh, just be mindful of where your other wiring is. So again, we have obviously we have an external transducer here. There we go. After we got the mount on our four trucks here, we have the 360. Um, make sure you grab the little baggie. Uh, thing that comes with the mounting screws and they're going to be the two bigger screws that come in there. These are like a hex head so something like this 
Um, I can't even read what size it is, but we have confidence in you would figure that out if you're taking on this project by yourself. So go ahead and start just fishing your transducer cable and then your power cable through that unit along with this guy. So where the propeller hits right here, they want at least one inch from where the bottom of the, the 360 is gonna sit. So at least one inch. Guys, so there's a little collar up here. You have to put this uh, depth collar knob inside um, or this little inserts. So you probably can see right here, they come in the package. There's two inserts and they li literally just fall right in here. So we have the first one right there. We just screwed it from the other side. And then the second one does not get a screw and it just gets dropped right in there. We'll put it back on, reinstall, and uh, the only thing that uh, that you really have to do here is you come down here while you're reading the directions, the round part of the transducer, you can see right here, this needs to be facing in the direction of travel. All right, so now we got a little bit more light as we are in the next day here. So uh, as you can see, I have the, I ran the power cable and the transducer cable. Um, I kind of branched it off with the uh, external uh, transducer wiring that I have right here along with our uh, hydro wave wiring. So uh, however you're going to do that, just make sure there's no pinch points or anything that you're gonna s slice your wire or whatever. So talking from experience, so as you can see here, I went right here. And then as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of crap going on back here, but so if I need to remove this 360, which I will do in the winter time for sure, uh, when the boat gets uh, wrapped, we'll just disconnect it from here, cut a couple zip ties, and be good to go. So as you can see, we don't have this wrapped in wire loom yet, but we're going to, and we're going to just tuck it under here um, with some zip tie holders. So as you can see, we do have the fuse block right here and we have the power cable running from the uh, 360 up front and it's tied right into there we have our have our fuse and we'll make this all look pretty so she looks good on there doesn't she so once you have everything all connected um, we are running a Y cable I uh, didn't uh, mention that to you but that was a separate like $35 purchase uh, for this Y cable essentially that Y cable allows me to run this 360 imaging transducer along with our external transducer which is right there for our mega down imaging plus uh, into one unit because we do not have two units so $35 cable is cheaper than a thousand dollar unit right now before you set it up on your Helix, go ahead and update your software on here. Just make sure it's uh, the latest upgrade and uh, they have a nice tutorial video on their uh, website. So after turning it on, make sure you are having the unit read the correct transducer. In our case, we have two transducers. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu twice. And this is for our Helix 10 unit. So sonar, just, you're gonna wanna get into this tab. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So and you can see right here, connected transducer. So, per the manual, you'll see you can select different transducers, whatever. If you don't want to run Mega 360, yada, yada, yada. See how it's changing the screen. So, the one that we need to run is MDI Plus and then Mega 360 because we are running those two transducers. So, that is the one we need to use. And you can see right there, it says Mega 360 disabled, it's out of the water. These two little sensors right there, the two little silver ones, those are water sensors. So this thing will not turn on unless it's in water. So either put it in a bucket if you really care to in your driveway, or just go take it out and uh, spend the day messing with it. So that is the finished product of the 360 Mega Imaging on our Fortrex troll motor. Now this video is not meant to be a how-to video, more of just a follow along of what we're doing. Um, hence why we have, didn't show every single thing. So uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please go ahead and put them in the comments below. 
Uh, if you guys like anything Fishing Tractor Auto 2A Freedom, go ahead and check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel here and give us a like for this video. Uh, you can also check us out at realamericanoutdoors.com. And we have a really cool Spreadshirt store with some sweet t-shirts. So go ahead and check that out. Thanks, guys.